black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Some of you, some of you are so happy to praise and honor Jesus without ever considering the price that God permitted him to pay for the redemption of others. You don't mind him paying a price. Glad it wasn't me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But don't ask me to pay no price. And I want to be your son. I want to be your daughter. But Lord, what you did to your son. Hell, I, I don't know whether I want to be your son. Donald B. Elijah Muhammad used to say, they all want my place, but they don't want to pay my price. We all want greatness. We dream about being great, but the road to greatness is not an easy road. When God chooses a people to raise them from ignominy to eminence. The road is hard. The process of making you into something that you never dreamed you could be is difficult. But so many of you want something in life but when the test of Sacrifice or suffering. Practice. Well, I think I'll change my mind. Somebody has to be the adult. In religion, it says, Think not that you will not be tried. Think not that you will not be tried. Meaning, don't think you're going to call yourself a Christian. Don't think you're going to call yourself a Muslim. And somebody is not going to try you. The government is not going to try you. Your mother is not going to try you. You are going to be tried. And many people claim these religions, they turn out to be hypocrites because they was tested, because they was tested and they failed the test. Here you are. I'm fighting for black people. I'm dealing with black people issues. But you can't even handle the trolls on YouTube. If you cannot handle the trolls on YouTube, if you cannot handle the drama on YouTube, what can you do for black people for real? And you go ballistic and you fall apart because somebody talking about you. I could care less about these people talking about me. Been talked about all my life. The only person that can hurt my feelings is me because I know who I am. And the only thing that can hurt me is when I hear the real truth and I reject it. That hurts me. Because I'm not here to lie. I'm not here to deceive. I'm here to bring us the real truth. 
And that is the reason why I am the most powerful voice on YouTube. Because I can learn from my mistakes. I can learn from my error. I can admit when I'm wrong. The least you can do is say, maybe I need to look in, into this more. But instead, you want to go out and start clowning people. And get upset and become emotional. I've never, let me tell y'all something. I've never been around black men like this. They always talk about the older black man do this. The older black man do that. I've never seen the older black man behave this way. Y'all crying and whining and complaining and slobbing at the mouth. And you did this. And you did that. The trolls, the black women. Oh, man, I've never, I've never been around weak men like this before. And then what's more disappointing, I question the Caucasian people military. How can you go to Iraq? Dodge bullets and all the things that you experienced in Iraq and then come here and be so weak. That's disappointing. That's not making mockery. I'm just I'm just asking. How can you be so weak? Be the adult. Then now you want to continue and this is a and this is a lie. I have not called you a liar, but I will call you a liar on this. I did not, and there is no need to name drop anything. There's no need. For what? What is the motivation? What's the reason? It makes no sense. Then you and this other fella talk about call the police. I'm going to make a case. You ain't done it yet, which I'm not worried about it. But you've been saying this for a long time. I'm going to call the police. And we're going to do this. I'm going to go to Hawaii. You make a threat against painless risen. I get on a plane and go to Hawaii and find you painless. You ain't done it yet. Making all these veiled threats. Now your threat against painless. That can be taken serious. And what this other faceless troll. These comments make it to me. That can be taken serious, but still yet, it's not enough. Not for the for police to get involved. I am a jailhouse lawyer. I've been dealing with the criminal system for the last almost 15, 16 years. I understand the law. I know what needs to be proven. I know what needs to be done in order to... For you, for the police to get involved in anything. Y'all just be, y'all just talking and don't have no, you have no, you, you functional illiterate as far as the legal system. You upset because people destroy your opinion and you think you're so smart. I do not claim to be smart. I don't claim to be an intellectual. But what I do claim is that I have thought about what I'm going to talk about. And then I test myself. So I'm ready for you. <clears throat> I'm the only one out of all the thousands of people complaining on Google, talking about being false flag. I'm the only one that took Google to court. That's why y'all channels is not falling down like they used to. Because of my action. Not your action. Because your action was nothing but talk. Google and all these other suckers know I will find you. If I'm really serious about you, that's why the racists start leaving me alone. Because they know I mean what I say. I will spend my money. I will find you. And I will see you in court for real. All this other stuff y'all talking about is nothing but talk. <clears throat> and I'm not going to spend no money. And I know I don't have a case. When I spend my money, track you down, bring you to court. At least there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to bring you down. And now, I'll, I, I have been fighting against flagging. And here you go. Flagging videos. 
because of a title. There was no content in the video. A title. But y'all so intelligent, so smart, uh, know it all. Think not that you will not be tried. And you have failed. I met you in person. You are not a skinny man. You would be considered obese. And you blame me for that. Oh, it's Angel. He put up pictures. Make me look fatter than what I am. No, brother. I met you in person. You're fat. You're not fatter than you am. There are many videos that show you besides a picture. You are still fat. You fat on the picture. This is not making mockery. This is a fact. I met you in person. You was fat in person. You fat on a picture. You fat on video. And you know that you are obese. That's why you stopped showing your face. You made up an excuse why you don't show your face anymore. But that's the reason why. Now, here I am. In some of these pictures, I'm right next to you. How come I'm not fat? I made you fat. You blame everything, so I'm the reason why you are overweight. The reason why you are overweight, and you said this yourself, and I already know, you taking no psycho drugs for your post-trauma. And that's why it's not, a, it's not very good or wise to really mess with you, because, see, I know that psycho drugs can cause a person to go psycho, and if your hatred, when you go psycho and my picture is in your mind, you will go psycho and hunt somebody down. I understand this. That's a reality. I know this from experience. Not because I believe my opinion. I know this point blank my experience. I was surrounded by people like this. I was attacked because those doctors put in somebody else's mind to hate me and they attacked me. So I know it's possible. Those psycho drugs, not only will they make you fat, they cause extreme weight gain, but they will affect your heart. You do not exercise. And you got these, this medication that's eating your insides up. This medication messes with your heart and your liver and your, your vital organs. That's what this psycho drug do. It causes organ damage. I am not here to make mockery of you. I'm not here to belittle you. You are a kind man. You've taken this thing way out of proportion. The only thing that was asked of you was where you getting your information from. What's the source? That's where it all started. And because... I'm supposed to be your friend. Why are you asking me, asking me this? I'm asking you this because I am a friend. I want to know. I want to learn. But you don't want to teach. You want to play ring around the roses. Because really you don't know. You don't want to admit that you took what you got from a YouTube video. And you made this as an example that does not apply. The only reason why I brought up your military experience is because you judge these men. These women are all black people. It's all about the unity of the nation. Black people are Bring it knowledge and fire at reality's temple.